about our place and date products is that the oven temperature is the same across all of the flavors and all of the sizes. So the convection oven is 325 degrees for all of these. Also important to note is that the size difference is going to affect the amount of time it takes to bake them in the oven. The small biscuits are only going to take 12 to 18 minutes. It's going to be 22 to 26 minutes or 18 to 22 minutes on a two ounce. And then for the jumbo biscuits, it's going to take 24 to 30 minutes. If they're frozen, it might take more than 35. So it's important, the product temperature and the size of each biscuit. Okay, let's bake some biscuits. We'll get some air space between. And the smaller biscuits can bake side by side. Don't forget to set the timer to turn them halfway. To turn each pan halfway through baking. Okay, our timer went for halfway. Let's go ahead and rotate our pans 180 degrees in the oven. You notice we don't have to pull the shelf out, we just pull the tray. If your pan on the top shelf is browning a little faster, go ahead and move it down a shelf and move one of the lower pans up so it gets more air circulation. And our smaller biscuits look like they're almost ready. Let's go ahead and check these. What are our dimness indicators? We're looking for an even golden brown across the top. In the diamond, we're looking for dryness. The next part, we're actually going to lift the edge. You can see there's a little bit of moisture and a little bit of stringiness in there. We're going to give these two more minutes. And then when we come back, we're going to bring our thermometer and we're going to check for 185 degrees or higher. So let's set our timer for two more minutes on the little ones and five more minutes on the large ones. Our two minutes are up, we're going to go ahead and check those Charlie Cheddar Biscuits. Remember we're looking for 185 degrees or above. We already have even golden brown. The diamond is dry. We lifted it. The interior is nice and fluffy. Let's confirm that temperature. And you don't have to take the temperature when you bake them. This is more just once you find out exactly how much it is, you'll remember it forever. Let's try another one. See, that one's easily over 200. So it's a good reminder that we need to check in several places on the tray. Let's check one more. Yep, our biscuits are done. Okay, we're going to pull this one and we're going to check the next size up too. This one we have even golden on the top. We have dryness in between. Okay. You can see there's a little gumminess in there, but we're going to also have some carryover baking. Okay. Let's check our temperature and see how close we are. We're over 185. Let's go ahead and let the carryover baking take it the rest of the way. Okay, I want to show you the samples of the two panning styles that we had. One was the cluster, one was the honeycomb. Remember, the cluster is straight rows, straight columns with each side touching. You can clearly still see the diamond in the center. That was one of the doneness indicators we used. The honeycomb does, in fact, look like a honeycomb from a bee. One of the things when the biscuits cool, if you leave these at room temperature and don't warm hold or hot hold, sometimes the biscuits can stick together and it makes it difficult to get them off the pan without tearing. So we want to show you a trick that you can do. If you lift the parchment underneath, okay, 
You're actually going to press from the bottom and see how easily these just pop out from each other. Okay, that's an easy way to go. You can also rewarm the whole tray in the oven for two to three minutes and they'll easily separate again. But if you don't want to heat the whole tray, you can pop out just one at a time. For the honeycomb, the same thing. We're going to lift the parchment, okay? You're going to just push with the bottom of the paper with your finger and see how easily they come apart. But you can also note with the honeycomb, the difference in the shape. You see how the sides, okay, don't have any browning on them. And you actually get a little bit that carries over from each of the biscuits. So this gives you a more homemade appearance and a taller biscuit. But if you're selling an individual or putting them in a bed basket, this might not be the method that you want to pan up you're probably going to want to go with the cluster bake for a nice individual. Okay, now we're going to actually look at the convection oven baking right next to the home oven baking, just so you can see the difference in appearance. For the convection oven, you can see an even gold and brown across the top. And in the home baked oven, you can see that there's a little less coloration but it's still even golden on the top. We have the same technique of lifting the parchment to release the biscuits. You'll see that in the home oven or in a conventional oven, okay, this is called flow, where the biscuits start to flow together and you lose the diamond. You don't have as much differentiation, even though they're panned both or pan cluster style you get more flow or more spread. So this gives you more of a dinner roll type appearance for your biscuit. And look at how soft and tender these are. Okay? But you definitely see how they square up in appearance versus a round shaped biscuit. It's just one of the notes. So if you have the opportunity to bake in with the operator in their oven, bake fresh, tastes wonderful.